Gretzky. He did bring up the, the free agents. And Jamal Williams is a guy that he's won me over. And I know a lot Lion fans love this guy. And the way he was talking at the end of the season, you know, don't diss us. We're the Detroit Lions. I mean, how do you let a guy like that go? I, I think that's invaluable. He's 28 in April. He's still got some tread on the tires. Do you, are you bringing him back? I am, uh, but there's a price to everything. And at the end of the day, everybody's a number in this league. And it's not anything against uh, Jamal or anything else. But when all is said and done, you've got a set amount of money that you can spend. You've got different things that you have to do, and you have to decide how you're going to allocate that. And, look, if somebody throws a crazy contract at him, which, look, basically the running back market hasn't been great. It's, it's kind of – teams have kind of, I think, gotten to the point where they feel like they can run different guys through there and they don't have to – pay guys a ton to play that position it seems to kind of have, have gone that way but look all things being equal absolutely i want him back i want him back because of what he does on the field because he's the hammer he's the fourth and one guy he's the goal line guy and then what he does in that locker room he, he has been a leader for this team uh really since he walked in and, and he's a guy who's won in this league he played meaningful games in green bay and that that was i think important to add to this mix um when he came to detroit so Look, they got some tough decisions they have to make on guys. Alex Antimony, DJ Chark, Jamal Williams, guys like that. You know, fifth-year options coming up on, on Jeff Okuda at some point. So, you know, there's different things that you have to look at. And, and the, the balancing act for Brad Holmes gets more difficult as you get better because you have more good players you want to keep and, and, and figure out how to fit them all in. Um, and, and I do think they'll be more active in free agency this year as well. I think they've, they've kind of bided their time waited until they could really identify what they needed and I think two years certainly fits that bill now I think they can look at that roster and understand where they might need to you know go and, and throw some money at somebody and, and come back feeling better about it draft choices all those things everything plays into it but it's a long way of saying Maz I agree with you I'm bringing him back if I can but I, I caution everybody when all is said and done in this league you're a number and that number has to fit